Hey guys and welcome to part 2. So now we have installed XXKP2. So you're one step closer to getting some alpha ice cream sandwich Android 4.0.3 on your device. On your Samsung Galaxy S2. So we're just gonna go over this pretty quick here. Because we're just gonna do one thing on our device here. No, not now. No, we don't wanna do that right now. No, that's lame. Wait a sec guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was just shaking my thing. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't want to back up. Yes, we just, we just want to skip this. Uh, yeah, go next. And click next. Oh, yeah, click next. Click next. Finish. <sighs> so now there's an important thing you need to do. If you haven't done so already, maybe I should have said that in part one, but you need to go ahead and download some files. And they are in the description on this thread, as you can see over here, uh, with everything. See some pictures here, here of it. Uh, see it was working, but you know I've already been going over that. But here you can see Alpha 13 size, 150 megabytes. Now go ahead and download that. Now also there's another download file here. It's called Ice Cream Sandwich Google Apps. Now I'm not sure how you go ahead and install that, but I know it's a zip file, so I suppose. I'm not really sure if this is the case, but I think that you can go ahead and install it very easily just by going into clockwork mode and then you know install zip from SD card. So I assume you just put it on your SD card and then you just go into clockwork mode and install it. But we don't have clockwork mode yet, but I'm gonna show you how we can go ahead and install it. But first, we need to get Alpha 13 on our SD card or actually on our phone. Uh, so go ahead and download Alpha 13. Uh, and yes, I've already done so. Yes, I'm so clever. Um, so it's called extractme.zip. Uh, extract me. Yes, zip. So go ahead and extract it. There we go. Uh, you will see that it will have this name over here. Why is this taking so long? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was saying like 433 hours or something like that. Okay, so you say it, it, it will have the name 2011-12-20.16.06.22. This is basically someone has made a backup in clockwork mode and then he's basically been uploaded to XDA developer form. So go ahead and take this file. Now, go ahead and plug in your device into your computer. So let's see. Touch for USB options. Media device. I think we need to unplug it and connect again. There we go. So we can see my phone over there. Uh, GTI Night 100. Click on it. Go into phone. And here in the root directory. Uh, see if you can find a file that or a folder that's being called clockwork mod. If you don't see a folder like that, create one. Clockwork mod. One, 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 one simple word. Uh, yeah, clockwork mod. And then if, if there's not a backup folder there, create a backup folder. And in here, we're just gonna copy and paste that folder. Uh, but I've already done so. It's being called 2011 12 20 16 06 22. So go ahead and do that. You can open it. You can see basically you have made your file here. That's basically just a quick backup folder. Um, so that's awesome. We have done that right now. So that's kind of perfect. So uh, once you have done that, now we're going to go ahead and install 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 clockwork mode. So what we are going to go ahead and do here is that we are going to go ahead and just turn our device off. Okay. power off I'm gonna go into download mode again I love to do these videos okay there we go okay so, um, go into download mode by holding the standard keys I hate when that thing pop ups because sometimes it feels like yeah I hate it Go volume up downloading, but it's not downloading actually right now. But go ahead and fire up Odin. As I said, I've all also have a video about this, 
how you can go ahead and install Clockwork Mode on your Samsung Galaxy S2. You just have to download a file called Clockwork Mode. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, I have it on my desktop. Uh, the file is basically being called g 100 Clockwork Mode Recovery 4.0.0.2.tar. Go ahead and tap on that. And now we're just gonna go ahead and select the PDA, not bootloader phone or CSC, auto reboot every freeze the time. Go ahead and start. You should see that yellow button before you you know start of course. Hmm. And one funny thing here will happen, and that is that you will no longer be able to boot up your device. Because we have now finally messed up the Samsung Android 4.0.1 XX KP2. Don't ask me why, but uh, it won't boot up right now, so yeah, that's some serious business. Let's see, uh, okay, it doesn't fail, it did pass, now, we just want to turn it off, because <laughs> this this bad boy won't even boot up, uh, yeah, because we messed it up, we messed it up, okay, there we go, okay, so, now, go, oh, wait a sec, oh, wait a sec, I went into the download mode, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. No one will, you know, kill us, but yeah. Okay, let's, let's just take this off. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I'm not sure exactly how you should turn it off when you're in download mode. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and tap on, you know, the volume up key and all of those two other buttons. To go into a new clockwork mode. Yes, it should you know do that two times in a row. There we go. We can see we have Clockwork Mode version 4.0.0.2. Now, uh, I'm sure if you have to do this, that I'm gonna do it right now, but uh, uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. And that is that I'm, before I'm gonna do anything here right now, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go down. We're gonna down. We're gonna go out to backup and restore. And we're gonna make a backup of our device right now. No, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm just doing this because, you know, actually we, we only have like lock Clockwork Mode that we can use right now on our device. Uh, if you don't reflash it or something in Odin, but I'm still just going to take a backup of it, you know, just because I'm sure if you have to do this, but, you know, I'm doing it, uh, so you better do it as well, you bitch. No, I don't think you have to, but yeah, I think it's good. And I'm not going to go ahead and install the Ice Cream Sandwich Google apps because I'm not sure if used to install it uh, using Clockwork mode but that's sweet if it that that's how it is you know that's pretty goddamn awesome so I think I'm gonna make a part three as well coming up here uh, just after this one's finished that's awesome because then I have two 10 minute videos and then I will have you know one more 10 minute video here uh, and that's awesome that's that's perfect and this could take probably a couple of minutes but you know it's cool it's cool you should watch this video in like 1080p or something. No, I'm, I'm not sure if that's available on this video, but uh, no, I don't think so. 720p, yeah. Then you should be able to see what I'm doing over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, when I make you know multiple parts, that's awesome because then I could you know, faster render the videos because I'm having a quad core computer. So if I can render three videos at a time, that's better than just waiting for one big fat one uh, on a single core or using just one core. Yeah, that's awesome. And if, as I said there in the previous videos, if this freaks you out, don't do it. You will just break your phone. I'm too pro to break my phone. Yeah, I'm probably gonna break it someday, but yeah. That's the fun thing with phones. Then you can buy a new phone, then you can buy a Samsung Galaxy S3. Or a Samsung Galaxy Note 4S. No, I'm sure. I'm sure what it's gonna be called, but yeah. So I'm talking too much. Oh, you can see like, like actually like a progress bar down there as well. Like I've never seen that before, but you can actually see a progress bar. That's cool. So uh, part three coming up. Are you ready for it? I am. Filming a ton of things. I love this new micro lens, or yeah, it's awesome. It's from Canon. It is perfect. Yes, 
Back up, you bitch. Back up. Back up! Don't ever stop. Uh, yeah. It did stop. No. I can see some progress. So, we are closing into the 10 minute video again. That is awesome. Now it's finishing up! If you're just watching these videos and don't have something else to it, then I suppose you're kind of like a weird person, but yeah. Or you just like these phones, or you may buy in them you know, in the future. That That's that's also awesome, you know. There we go. Okay, so we are basically finished up with that. So um, now the final thing we're gonna do here is just install, but that's gonna be in part three. So if you haven't uploaded that video already, go and have some popcorn or something. I'm not uploading the video. I'm probably rendering it, you know, while you're watching this video. So uh, stay tuned for the next part. See you guys.